Welcome back to the channel. Day 27 of the 100 horror films in 31 days. We're getting to the end here. I got in three films. Uh, first up, I got in The Black Phone 2021, which is directed by Scott Derrickson. Of course, he did Sinister and Deliver Us from the Devil, I think. Uh, I really like the film. Ethan Hawke plays this guy called The Grabber. And essentially, The Grabber is going around in his van with his black balloons and kidnapping kids, taking them back to his house and torturing them and eventually killing them. Uh, terrible story, but very realistic. And uh, it kind of reminds me of John Wayne Gacy. Kind of gave me John Wayne Gacy vibes as far as other aspects of the story. I thought it was. I thought Ethan Hawke was fantastic as the grabber. I liked. I liked how the film wrapped up with the ending. I really don't have any complaints about this one. Um, the 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 only, the only I guess the only complaint I would have is that the film had. I mean, once the initial setup. Once you get the initial setup, the majority of the film is is essentially. Um, and I, I don't, this may be a spoiler, may not. If you want to fast forward it, you can. Uh, but the majority of the film was spent with the kid, the, the last kid he captures, and the kid's trying to get out, you know. And uh, it just it just felt like, at least in the middle part, they just didn't have enough material to go anywhere. I would have liked to have gotten maybe delve a little bit into the grabber, you know. I mean... He, you'd really know, you really learn nothing about the grabber, and I think with that middle section as thin as it was, we probably could have had something along those lines. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure I like the um, uh, supernatural callbacks uh, in the film. I, I, I mean, overall, it's kind of a mixed bag. I, I still give it a seven out of ten. I liked it. I feel like I'm starting to pick at it now. Okay, next up is 1988's Child's Play. This was uh, part of the subset picks for the, the October challenge, so I had to revisit it, which I didn't mind. Uh, the original Child's Play is so much fun. I could watch it over and over and over. Uh, Brad Dourif is fantastic. I love, love everything about it. I just think it's a fun film. It has the right blend of humor and horror. And, uh, yeah, I just I think it's a great film. I gave it a 9 out of 10. Great stuff. Doesn't, doesn't really get much better than the original Child's Play. And then finally, I broke out this Kino. This is, actually, this is Code Red. I wonder if Kino re-released this. It's Code Red. Uh, the Love Butcher. What a bizarre freaking film this is, man. A yard man targets women he works for to have, basically have sex with them, and then he kills them. And it, you know, leave it to the 70s to bring you these kind of wonderful oddities like this. This is bizarre shit, man. Uh, a, a really good serial killer flick and a, a disturbing one because it's a mix of black comedy and, and pretty brutal kills misogynic kind of kills um yeah it's an uncomfortable mix it, I, I mean this is this is some interesting stuff i would highly recommend uh anybody out there to, to jump in on and get the love butcher because this is this is definitely one film you need to see from the 70s 1975 actually A lot of names you never heard of starring this. Eric Stern, Kay Near, Marilyn Jones. Uh, but that doesn't detract from the film overall. I really, really liked it. It was written by a guy named Mikkel Angel. And directed by Mikkel Angel and uh, Don Jones. Very, very, very good stuff. Uh, you can tell that uh, this was a passion project. As far as special features, as an audio commentary, which I definitely can't wait to check out. I'm very interested in getting into the background of that film. Alright, well that's going to do it for day 27. We're, we're getting to the end here. Thanks for watching.